Hey guys, it's Doc from the Gold Hog, and today I'm going to be showing you, I'm going to be doing a run with the uh, Gold Cyclone. I'm going to be doing a full run with this thing, but it, you might get a little confused on this video because I'm going to show you two ways to run this. I'm going to show you a pro mode and then a pro commercial mode. So first I'm going to put up a picture, and I'm going to show you how the unit comes standard. So it comes with two rings, and this is how most people will run the unit. Now. You'll see that there's two rings, they're positioned, the way that they come from the factory or the way they come from us, that's the normal way to run this unit. Now, there's another way, and that's the pro way. The pro way is to remove one of the rings. This just allows a little bit more flow and allows you to tune it just a little bit better. So I'm going to put that up there and show you that this is what I call the pro mode. Once you get a feel for this unit, you can pull a ring out and you can run it that way. But I think a lot of people, especially with super fine gold, might prefer the two ring mode. That's about it, and uh, so we'll go to the video, I just don't want you to get confused on that. Okay, so I wanted to give you a look at the concentrates that I'm running in here. This is about just over a quart, right at a quart just over. And what you're going to see is that, as soon as I wash that lights off the top, it's almost solid black sand in there. And again, this, this weighs close to six pounds. So if it was a five gallon bucket, it'd be close to 90 to 100 pounds. And that's about right for almost solid black sand, heavy concentrates. But again, I'm, I've got all kinds of gold in here. Um, I've got gold from Canada, BC, California, and Georgia. So be a good little test. So I've got gold mixed in here. That's from all kinds of places. And a ton of this gold is sub 100 mesh gold. And it's really, really flat. It's the hard stuff to catch. Again, my goal is, is not to catch every single spec. My goal is to very quickly pull out 90 to 98, maybe even 99, depending on what you're running, percent of the gold very quickly. Each run is about four or five minutes, and I've only got to do three or four runs. Of course, you know me, I'll be talking, so it'll take longer. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my unit. Of course, I got a plane flying overhead. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the tailings check tube, and I'm gonna gently just stick it in here. And I'm going to use that to get some leverage, and I'm just going to twist this upper section off. So I've opened it up. It's not glued on, the upper section. Now what I'm going to do is, I've just got a coat hanger, a piece of coat hanger wire, and what I did is I made a little handle and a little hook here, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to put that, I'm just going to hook under this ring down in here, and gently just lift up on it. And that ring's going to come out. So I've removed that upper ring. Now when you want to put this back in, it's really hard to get back in because you have to compress it in and then what you do is, is you take a piece of one and a half inch PVC and you work it down little by little by little by little and you can adjust this ring so you can pull this out if you ever have to. Um, but you also have an extra ring if something ever happens if you switch over to pro mode on this. And now all I'm going to do is I want to put this top back on it and make sure that I'm lined up right. There. So now I'm lined up right and I'm ready to run in my pro mode so now I just have one ring in here there's no other ring up top and I'm gonna show you how to run it okay so like I said I've already I've already taken the air out of this hose I like to have I like to have um, I like to turn this unit on and get all the air out of my garden hoses and so forth so there still will be some air but I'm gonna turn her on and just let her fill up Again, I'm going to take about a teaspoon. Oops, I forgot to turn my top funnel on. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I've got the majority of, I've, I've got some circulation going down in here. And what I'm going to do in this mode is I'm pretty much, I'm going to keep the circulation moving the whole time. So when this starts to slow down the bottom, I'm going to give it a little more juice. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust my manifold here and start to bring this up. 
a little click up on the power, let it run, a little click up on the power, let it run. And again, what I want to do is, is now you can see this clear portion forming, and I'm going to bring that clear right up to about here. I just want to see a little bit of gold down here with a little bit of black sand. Once you turn it up, just pause. There I probably went maybe a little too far. That's pretty cool. You can see it's all gold right in here. I'm going to bring it up just a little bit more. Okay, so now I've shut down the unit. Now make sure you shut off your top funnel. Okay, so when you shut this thing down, make sure you shut off your top funnel too. Otherwise you're going to push stuff out when you take this tube off. When you take this tube off, I'd recommend putting something under it because there's going to be gold sitting right here. Alright, I'm going to try and show you this, but this is, this is still on the unit and I want to show you, if I can, you can actually see the gold sitting inside that tailings tube and that's the screen indicator tube so that's going to tell me what size to go to next but you can see it sitting in there alright so let me save you a little aggravation here and what I do is, is I take off that I take off the elbow here then I can put my pan up under here and so now I can take this tailings tube off and anything that's going to fall out here is going to fall out here into the pan. Alright, so here's my tailings tube. And you can see that the majority of the gold in here is below 50 mesh. You know, I might want to be safe. There looks like, uh, you know, really I would say I'd probably run it through a 30 mesh. But this is the tailings tube. And again, I have maybe two tablespoons of material. I panned a little bit of this off the top. And then here's, here's the gold. This is the stuff that was getting out. And you can see the kind of gold in here I've got. I'm going to get the camera and show you. Okay, so there's my tailings tube. And you can see that it's full, absolutely full. There's probably a good gram in here of anything from 50 mesh all the way down to 300 mesh gold in there. Okay, so I've taken my tailings tube off and I've checked it. And I've just got the unit sitting here. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my funnel off. And just drop that down here. And now I'm going to take this unit. And when I take it off, I'm going to lean it back because there's going to be gold sitting right Then what I have to do, then what I'll do is I'll take this unit and I'll dump it into a gold pan. Or <laughs> I'd recommend, I'd recommend actually using a pail. And that's probably what I should do. But... Uh, I'm going to go right into the gold pan because if you ever miss it, getting it off the concrete's a little hard. So I'm just going to take it, I'll turn the water on, and I have to do this. I can't do this one handed, so I've got to set up the camera. Okay, so keep this thing upside down. Now turn it, turn the water on. And shake it. Okay, so that was it. Take it off, shake it. Now, on this, on when you have your larger runs, I've ended up with, let me show you. I didn't take it too heavy. I've still got about a quarter of a cup in here. But the nice thing is, is I can just pan these things off if I want real quick. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to pan that top layer of these round stones off. Um, and then I'll have about two tablespoons. And again, these rocks are round, so they move real easy. And you can pan into a safety catch pan if you want. Alright, so now this is what I have left. I just panned off that top little bit. And I've got probably, oh, two tablespoons in here. So now I can just sort of just tap this. You'll see the gold form on the left side. Oh, it's floating. Look at that stuff float. That's pretty cool. See all that? See that thing floating? It's a 
bunch of small gold all together. Again, just tap, let the inertia of the gold pull it to that one side, and then just sort of just roll that. And you can see how it separates so easily in here. So now I can just take my sucker bottle and go here. Ooh, look at that nice chunker. I didn't know that boy. Did that. that guy snuck through. And now I've got all this gold. But here's the important point. This is my first run, eighth of an inch, and watch. Look at all the fine gold in here. That's such an important point. I've got tons of gold in here that's I've got tons of gold in here that's 50, 100, 150, and 200 that I got on my first run. That's a critical point. So I've got a bunch of fine gold in here. Okay, so what I did was I screened down to 20 mesh. And you can see it's real heavy black sand in here. And now I have about, oh, two cups of material to run. So now I'm going to do a run at 20 mesh. Okay, run with uh, 20 mesh. I'm just going to go ahead and run it. And I'm going to cut it short for you video-wise. Put a little bit in. Oops, got my upper two. Put about a tablespoon in it. Make sure it's spinning. We're good. A little bit at a time. I'm gonna take this up. This is the 20 mesh. I'm gonna take it up a little bit at a time. Same thing I did before, I'm going to watch until my gold gets about here, or until I have about two tablespoons. I've got my gold line right there. Shut off both of them, top and bottom. Okie doke, so now let's take a look. So here was a tailings tube, screen size indicator, and you can see that it's telling me that I need to go to, oh, probably need to go to the 50 mesh. But here's what, here's what the actual cyclone caught. And of course, it's a little harder because of hydraulic equivalence, you're gonna have a ratio of higher numbers. So it's a little bit tougher, of course, the finer you go. You know, I'm trying to save as much gold as I can from going out, which really you shouldn't do. But you can see, I mean, this is a 20 mesh screen, and you can see that a large portion of the gold is 50, 100s, 150s, and 200s. All right, and so you can get a better feel for this, is this represents 10 minutes of actual running. And I've already got 95% of my gold out of that system, weight-wise at least, and probably piece count-wise. So this is the first run, what we caught in the tube. This is the tailings tube indicator. This was the tailings tube indicator on the second 20 mesh. This was 1 8. This is 20 mesh. And this is what the unit caught in the actual unit. So now I have to screen, maybe go to 50 mesh. Because I'm looking at this, I'm seeing some 50. Then I go to 100 and I'm done. So I've got, you know, five minute run and a five minute run. Hey guys, it's getting a little windy out here. So I figured uh, I'd go ahead and wrap this up. But you can see what I've done with this. I've taken. Uh, it's about a half, it was about a half gallon of concentrates. And I had 1 8, 20 mesh, 50 mesh, and then I might do 100 mesh after that. So I had four runs, five, six minutes a piece, plus I'm not adding in there the time to rescreen the material. But really, in about 20 to 30 minutes, I've taken a half gallon of concentrates. I've gotten 95 and 95% 95 of my gold and above out of it. Um, taking it down to almost nothing a few tablespoons per level tap 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 suck it out and you're pretty much done uh, Again, this machine is not meant to be 100% It's supposed to exchange out the gold. That's what you're supposed to see and you're supposed to go screen size to screen size But you can see I didn't have to go to every single screen size I've got almost all my gold out with an eighth a 20 and a 50 I've probably got 98, 99% of my gold out already. Weight-wise, I've got over 99%. So I'm happy with that. And again, a process that would have taken my super cons and having to pan that super cons, I mean, you're talking, I've sat there for hours and hours and panned those super cons and out of a jig or out of a concentrator and pan and pan them. This, boom, you're done. But like I said, it's not meant to get every single speck of gold. You're supposed to get the majority of your gold. Now you can take those cons Take the rest of your cons that you worked, put them aside, and in the wintertime, run them through a gold cube and rework them again. 
you'll get the rest of your gold out then. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this, guys. I was just showing you a little bit different way to run it. I wanted to show you a real run on some concentrates out here. Thanks a whole bunch.